Good day to you. Today we will, we will be learning about systematic listing. Systematic listing is a very standard question uh, from primary three onwards. It is actually a very easy type of question which most of my students can get full marks if they use this method. Now, systematic listing is very systematic. Now, previously, uh, when we do systematic listing, it seems like it's very tedious. Okay, for example, let's look at the question. There are four number cards as shown below. How many different two-digit numbers can we form? Now, the teacher might teach you the method, which is, you know, you use uh, 8 first, then you have 8, 4, 8, 2, 8, 1. Then you go on to 4, then 4, 8, 4, 2, 4, 1. Now, this is actually the correct method. Now, it is only useful when the number cards are only four number cards and you're going for two digit numbers. Now, if you're going for five number cards and three digit numbers, you can have as many as like 60 combinations. Then it lists out 60 sets of different numbers. Now, that is very tedious and it's very time consuming. Let's say if this is a three question mark, uh, three mark question, then uh, you're actually spending a lot of time uh, doing the listing, which is uh, not productive. I will recommend another method called the branching method. Okay, I'm just going to show you now for four number cards, uh, two digit numbers, how, are we, how am I going to do branching? Okay, first, I will list down eight. Okay, then I will have four, I will have two, then I have one. Okay, list down eight, four, eight, two, eight, one. So actually you have 84, 82, 81. Next, you list down four, then you list down the ones that, the cards that you have not used. Eight and two and one. So actually you have 48, 42, 41. Then you have, you list down two, then you list down the cards that you didn't use. Eight, four, one, and you have one, which is eight, four, two. So in actual fact, you can see that it's as good as writing down all the numbers, but you're actually eliminating any careless mistakes you might have. Okay, 28, 24, and this is 21, 18, 14, 12. Okay, so the answer is actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They're all together 12 ways. Okay, now I want you to look at the pattern here. Now for card number one, which is uh, the eight, okay, the first card that we look at, we actually can see that there are three ways. Then for the second card that we look at, the card four, card number four, we also can see three ways. Card number two, we also see three ways. And card number four, we also see three ways. Now, in actual fact, you only need to list down the first card, which is 8, so you have 84, 82, 81, there are 3 ways, then you times the number of cards, so there are 4 cards, so 4 times 3, then you have 12. I repeat, okay, for the card number 8, you have 3 ways, so 3 ways for the first card, now they are all, all together 4 cards, so 4 times 3 will give you 12. Okay, this is actually a very short method. Can? Okay, now let's look at the second question. I read the question to you. There are four number cards as shown below. Same number, 8421. How many three digit numbers can we form from these four number cards? Now, for three digit numbers, it's going to get a little bit complicated. So I'm going to slow down my pace. I'm just going to explain to you. Now, for the first branch, okay, I write down eight. Okay, then I write down the next numbers that I can have, okay? After I have 8, I can have 4, 2, and 1, okay? Now, after I use up the, the card number 8 and card number 4, I want to use for the, uh, I want to form the third digit using another card. I cannot use 8 and 4 anymore, so I'm left with 2 and 1, okay? Then I, I use 8 for the first digit, Two for the second digit. For the third digit, I cannot use 8 and 2 anymore. So I have 4. I'm left with 1. In the first card, I use 8. Second card, I use 1. Then I'm only left with card 4 and card 2. Okay, so for the 8, okay, how many 
uh, numbers, how many three digit numbers can we form starting with eight? There are actually six. Okay, if you want to list down, it's actually eight four two, eight four one, eight two four, eight two one, eight one four, and eight one two. Okay, so for the first card, we know that there are six ways. Altogether, there are four cards. So four times six will give me twenty four. So the answer for this question will be 24 ways. As you can see, even for three digit numbers, we can solve it like within less than a minute. Okay, it is actually very fast, very efficient, and it eliminates careless mistakes, which is the most important. Okay, I hope you enjoy uh, this video. Practice hard and you can be expert at systematic listing. Thank you.